should you buy an M1 Mac for web development? Specifically, I'm asking, can I build using the SharePoint framework using an M1 Mac? Is Apple Silicon really optimized for web developers? My name's Rob, this is Robert's Dev Talk. Let's dive straight in. Well, before you invest in an M1 Mac, let's look at the current situation as of Tuesday the 6th of April 2021. Now I love my Intel based Mac, however with the increased power and efficiency available on the M1 Macs, it's easy to see the impact they could potentially have on web development. SharePoint developers have to tackle resource intensive tasks on a daily basis such as compiling, transpiling, packing etc. Exciting as this new era of the M1 Mac is, it's reasonable to ask are these machines ready to be our main development machine? Now, according to some developers, the M1 Macs give a huge performance boost, as expected. So is the M1 ready for SharePoint development? The answer is yes, kind of. You see, I don't just use my Mac for SharePoint development, and not all apps are optimized for the M1 Mac, and some just don't work at the moment. For example, Docker, it has a promising beta, 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 released on February the 21st, but it doesn't support HTTP proxies and has issues with some Intel-based containers. Parallels, which I use for Windows virtualization, just won't work until Microsoft fully support x86 on ARM architecture. There are tutorials that show you how you can get some of these features to work, but they'll have you jumping through all kinds of hoops just to even get close to an Intel-based experience. For example, Homebrew doesn't natively support the ARM architecture Architecture. So rather than being a single command installation as it used to be, there are now multiple ways you have to try in order to get Homebrew to work, and not all of them are consistent on reboot. For Android developers, there is no emulator at the moment. A PHP storm that are constantly getting low memory warnings when indexing some larger sites. So it's good to remind ourselves what Apple has already told us as developers. We're at the beginning of a transition stage, one which Apple feels will take up to two years to implement. We also have to remember that Apple has only really targeted the entry-level consumer at this point. Now I'm sure as developers we won't have to wait too long. Software producers are working hard to bring their apps up to speed to work on the M1 Max and Apple will continue to bring out improvements of its Apple Silicon that will get better on each iteration. So the problem for us developers is we always want the latest and greatest tech right now. In this case we're going to have to wait. They're not completely ready for development yet. Yes, you can use it for SharePoint framework development, but personally, I think I'm going to wait until WWDC. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree, your thoughts as to when all this will be ready. And don't forget to click subscribe and the notification icon. I'll see you next time.